Can you just be clear about this? You'll vote against Article 50, come what may. Uh, no, we said we would vote against Article 50 if our red line is not met, and it's a single, simple red line, which is that we want to respect the will of the people, and that means that they must have their say in a referendum on the terms of the deal. It's the only logical and it's the only democratic option on the table. There will be a referendum at the end of this process so that nobody would have imposed upon them something they didn't vote for. And we've had, I guess, the clearest example... Just over a week ago, when Stephen Phillips, Conservative MP, who resigned from Parliament, having voted Leave and being a very active Leave campaigner, said, but hang about, I didn't vote to leave the single market. This is being imposed upon us. We believe that what started with democracy last June, which we totally respect, must not now end up with a stitch-up, with a deal being imposed on the British people that absolutely nobody voted for. It's a funny sort of democracy, this, Mr Farron, isn't it? Where you say to the people... Well, you let the people you, make them, you, make them voted, up. you voted. Would you like to think again? Perhaps you'd like another the vote in order well, no. that you can change your mind. No, that's not right, Nick. I mean, obviously, yes, a referendum at the end of the deal would give people the option to stay put in the EU. Yes, it would. But at the moment, what we've got is a decision back in June, which I completely respect. So Parliament is right to pursue the course it is at the moment, which is for departure from the European Union.